So, difficult three points, three points nonetheless though, what are your thoughts? I thought you were excellent, um, from minute one to minute 96. Um, I know they hit the crossbar twice, one was from distance, um, and obviously one from a corner as well, but I thought we played really well, our phases of play were excellent. And the lads are taking on board the instructions we're giving them on the, on the training ground, so um, we had some lovely phases of play. They're such a difficult side to play against Woking. Uh, they ask questions of you physically, um, but I thought we moved the ball around really well. Didn't allow them to sort of press us, which is what they're good at. So and to get a clean sheet, obviously, after all the hoo-ha and the rubbish I've heard over the last week, is, uh, is, is, is excellent. On that clean sheet, do you think that's the best performance by quite a distance defensively that you've put in? I actually don't think so. I thought we defended really well. I know we conceded three goals, but really, Laurie hasn't made a save today. In four games, I think Laurie's made three saves. That's how dominant we've been in the games. But we've got to be rootless. If we're going to be like the Notts Counties and the Wrexhams, we have to be rootless. And the other night, I thought we weren't rootless enough against Eastley. I thought our performance was outstanding. Um, once the performances are good and, uh, and we keep playing on the front foot, we keep being brave and getting on the ball, I think we'll be OK. But, but at the end of the day, the, the game during the night was a brilliant game, a brilliant day for the division. You know, you have, a, you have a football club that invested in the forward line, majorly invested in the forward line. So they got them a point that on the night. I didn't felt we, I felt we deserved not to win. Uh, sorry, we felt I felt we totally deserved to win the game. I know it was a point. Um, so look, to have ten points from the first four games is unbelievable. Uh, so it's a really good start. Obviously, I know it's very early. It's not even a farm guy yet, but it's a really good start. So. The main thing for me now as a coach is to make sure that we keep improving as a team. Um, we're going to have different tests. It'll be a different test next week at Dagenham. It'll be a different test against Ebsley on, on Monday. This division shows up so many different tests. Even through the night, we played against a team that just got behind the ball. Tonight, we played against a team that get in your face. So we just got to keep, make sure we keep passing them tests. And playing those different types of teams with their different tactics, is your sort of philosophy to stick to your, your game plan or do you really try and change depending on the opponent? We, we tweak things, but we always want to get on the ball. Sometimes like, if someone's going to press us, we might go a little bit more direct and play in their half. Um, but I thought Arnie Hart again today gave us a real outlet in midfield to be able to get the ball through him, uh, which was at, which, which allowed us to pick off their midfield and sort of get it then at their back four. So there's loads of different tweaks we want to do. Some days we get it right. I think we've been good tactically in, in the four games. Um, so look, long may that continue. So it's, there's always little tweaks, but the philosophy is very similar. It's always, it's always the same. And then two goals from Zach Bron, an amazing second one especially. Is that what you expect of him? Fourth goal was a great team goal. I thought it was better than that one. You know, it, it's easy just to look at the, bending it into the corner. Like. But Brunty's got that. I, I keep questioning Brunty all the time. Mate. Can you score goals? Can, my job is to make sure I coach him how to score goals. I said that to Nick Geary when we, when we bought him from Sheffield United. I said, I think he can score goals, this kid. We did it with Ryan de Havilland. And today he scored two special goals. But my favourite one's when he got in the penalty spot because we've been walking on him, getting around the penalty spot. It was a great team move. We got to the touchline, pulled it back. Lovely, clean finish. So I think that's our best goal so far this season. And then finally, what were your thoughts on Nicky Kabamba's performance? Good hold-up play, but... Listen, he gave his all. Um, he led the line at difficult against two experienced centre-halves in Taylor and Cuthbert. So I thought he did really, really well. He, he, was, he was a menace. Um, he chased lost causes, which you need to do when you sort of play in their system. So... He had a great opportunity to score, would have been another team goal. A brilliant opportunity to score in the first half. Uh, we probably strung about 12 passes together, and, put, and I think it was Brunty that pulled it, uh, squared it to him. Good block by their defender. So, look, Nicky's doing great. He's got three and four games, so we're happy with his, uh, with his output. Perfect. Congratulations on that. Cheers. Thanks. God bless.